it's important, I think, to take care of the land. And that's when I first contacted the forester. And I think that it really helps and makes it a lot easier because he'll walk the land and make recommendations because, you know, I don't know which trees need to be cut. Uh, that's their business. So they come in and recommend things. Uh, we cut the bigger trees. We thin out the bad trees that will help the nicer young trees grow. You know, the guys came in, you know, and coordinated around our hunting time. You know, we didn't want them to come in really anywhere from the first of September through the deer season. So they really helped, you know, kind of work around our schedules, came in, you know, did a phenomenal job of, you know, low impact harvest, you know, took it out and, uh, you know, gave us a, a real good economic boost, you know, to help cover our operating cost here in the property. Really, you know, in order to manage uh, forest land, whether it's a large industrial forest or a state forest or even a small woodlot owned by a private landowner, you really need to have a market for the wood products in order to get forest management done. One opportunity that is becoming obvious is uh, energy generated from wood, whether it's pe wood pellets, whether it's biomass fuel to power plants, or most recently, cellulosic ethanol made from wood chips. So I think there's an, a huge opportunity here in Michigan to introduce some new uses of fiber that will continue to allow us to have a healthy forest industry. When you work with a registered forester, uh, you're basically tapping into his expertise of markets in your area to help you uh, sell your trees. The forester went in, you know, gave us an estimate of value, took that that sale to market. It really gave us, uh, you know, a good value for that timber. A landowner can view his forest similar to a bank account. You can make withdrawals periodically, and then you let it grow and the interest grows back and then you can make another withdrawal sometime in the future. Hopefully every 10 years you can thin your woods so you're always in a in a position to realize a little bit of money because it, as you all know uh, taxes <laughs> you have to generate money to take care of the land because taxes cost you every year so the timber cutting certainly helps that a lot. I definitely think we would not hold the level of deer that we do if we have not implemented the forestry practices. You know, we are definitely holding more deer and wildlife, turkeys, uh, seeing rough grouse, even some uh, woodcock on the property now, stuff that we didn't have before. You know, there, there's no doubt in my mind that we've had some of our best hunting success over the last five years from the practices that we've implemented. Get the advice of a forester and have him um, walk through the forest and uh, and talk with you and, and um, demonstrate you know what can be done to uh, manage a woodlot and create some opportunities for uh, not just income but future growth on that forest. It's really neat to think of you know the multiple generations that have enjoyed and used the property, you know, third, fourth, fifth generations, family members, you know, out here, you know, hunting and snowshoeing in the wintertime, hiking. It's not a hunting property, but it's you know a, a recreational property. It's really benefited the land, and I think it's gonna benefit the land for many years. <laughs>